What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Elude Stalwart Plays. Today, this episode is actually going to be Elude Stalwart Reading. Uh, I got a book called uh, Life Force I picked up like six or seven months ago. It was a while back, and uh, I've been reading it, and I kind of fell off reading it for a little bit, and I decided I wanted to start over and make it like a video series. So this is the Life Force uh novel book uh new it's number one new york times bestseller by tony robbins peter diamandis md and robert hariri md phd and uh it's about how new breakthroughs in precision medicine transform the quality and of your own life and those that you love so without further ado we'll get to that let's let's switch over here this is the book right here. This is what the cover looks like. And this is the preface. It says, Congratulations on picking up this book. We're thrilled to take you on a journey of scientific breakthroughs, many of which you can apply today to immediately improve the quality and perhaps the quantity of your life. Uh, it just crashed. I think it was just updating. It just updated. <clears throat> So, to immediately improve the quality and perhaps the quantity of your life. Here's just a taste of what you'll be learning in the pages ahead. How to gain pure energy, strength, and maximum performance. Learn how to immediately boost your energy by tapping into the power of natural a natural compound in your body that derives... <clears throat> whoops. Who whoops. I guess if you click, it goes that way. That drives energy at a cellular level. Discover the four vitality ingredients that world-renowned genetics professor had used to reverse his biological age by 20 years. Increase your strength and muscle mass, boost your metabolism, and increase your bone density up to 14% with scientifically proven 10-minute workouts once a week. You can learn the third pillar of health, one of the simplest things you can do to increase your daily focus, boost your mood, and experience greater vitality without caffeine or other stimulants. And to prime your body for peak performance by using the latest wearables and devices that give you 24-7 personalized fitness, sleep, and data. How to accelerate your healing, regeneration, and longevity without surgery. <clears throat> How stem cells have helped people regain the use of their arms and legs after strokes or several spinal cords, recover from injuries like torn ligaments and driven children with leukemia into re remission. A novel gene therapy that's been shown to restore sight with just two injections. Three new powerful and effective scientific breakthroughs for eliminating back pain. And incisionless brain surgery that uses ultrasound to significantly relieve Parkinson's symptoms in minutes. And is now being tested in its use to block the addictive pattern in the brain. A breakthrough molecule that could erase osteoarthritis by growing new pristine cartilage within 12 months with just a single injection. Exponential technology such as artificial intelligence, CRISPR, and gene therapy are being used to unravel the mystery of aging. How to slow it, stop it, and prevent even reversing aging, or perhaps even reversing the aging process. Healthy weight loss and innovating anti-aging remedies. Two FDA-approved solutions that help curb your appetite, one of which has delivered an average weight loss of 22 pounds. Accessible and affordable hair treatments that can increase your hair growth, luster, and volume up to 60% without harsh chemicals or uncomfortable side effects. New anti-aging remedies customized specifically for your skin by taking into account your DNA, lifestyle, and environmental factories, uh, factors so you can gl have glowing skin regardless of age. A way to blast fat for good with non-invasive technology that helps you lose fat and tightens your skin without surgery or scarring. The building block your body naturally produces that can give you Botox without needles, plus a new head of hair. New ways of tackling the top killers, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, stroke, and much more. It uh, helps with Alzheimer's it, by showing how to win the war on cancer with the most promising alternatives to chemotherapy and radiation. A revolutionary blood test that may detect up to 50 types of cancer before the symptoms surface. A new FDA-cleared artificial intelligence test that can predict heart disease 5 to 10 years in advance 
and provide a roadmap to help prevent it. For diabetes, it can help with the pennies per dose medication that safely treats and helps prevent any type 2 diabetes that may protect you from cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's has a company that is applying CRISPR gene editing technology to relieve Alzheimer's symptoms such as anxiety and depression. And stroke, how virtual reality headsets, high-tech sensors, and video games improve stroke survivors' dexterity and mobility. Introducing by Ray Kurzweil, or the introduction, this is written by Ray Kurzweil. Ray Kurzweil is one of the world's leading inventors, thinkers, futurists, and 30-year track record of accurate predictions. Uh, oh, with a 30-year track re record of accurate predictions. Kurzweil was selected as one of the top entrepreneurs by Inc. Magazine, which described him as the rightful heir to Thomas, Thomas Edison. He was awarded the National Medal of Technology and Innovation for pioneering and innovating achievements in his computer science such as voice recognition, which have overcome many barriers and enriched the lives of disabled persons and all Americans. He starts by saying, I have a very short list of people whom I almost always say yes to when asked to a request. Tony Robinson and Peter Diamandis are at the top of that list. So when they asked me to write this forward, I didn't hesitate. Tony and Peter share my belief that the power of human ideas can change the world, including how long we live. No matter what quandaries we face, business problems, health issues, relationship difficulties, the great social and cultural challenges of our time, these exist. At, there exists an idea that will enable us to prevail. We can, we can and must find that idea. And when we find it, we need to implement it. Life Force will help you find those answers. It covers the most important innovators, inventions, and technologies that are transforming health and medicine today. We are on the cusp of a profound medical advancement, or we are on the cusp of profound medical advancements as artificial intelligence begins to unlock the mysteries of our bodies and brains. Yet many conventional healthcare practitioners are still caught up with the old paradigm and didn't practice medicine that don't practice medicine as an information technology. This means that each of us has to take control of our own health care. I've had some experiences with, with that, so let me explain. <clears throat> My father had a heart attack when I was 15 and died of heart disease when I was 22. He was 58 in 1970. I had confidence in my ability to solve problems that came my way and I realized that I probably inherited my father's genes for heart disease. So I put this health challenge on my long-term to-do list. In 1983, when I was 35, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. The conventional treatment made it worse, causing me to gain weight, with, which exacer exacerbated the, the disease. So I decided I had come. I had to come. With, <clears throat> so I decided time. The time had come to bring these personal health issues to the top of my to-do list. I immersed myself in health and medical literature, which came with my own approach involving nutrition, lifestyle, and supplements, and ultimately eliminated any indication of my diabetes by 1988. I wrote the best-selling health book about the experience, The 10% Solution for a, health, uh, for a Health Life, and since written two more award-winning health books, Fantastic Voyage 2004 and Transcend, Nine Steps to Living Well Forever in 2009. As I was going through this personal health revelation, I was also busy on working on two inventions. The first music keyboard capable of accurately reproducing the sounds of a grand piano and the orchestral instruments and the first commercially marketed large vocabulary speech recognition system. Today, a descendant of that technology is Apple's voice recognition called Siri. As an inventor, I realized that the keys to success was timing. Most inventions and inventors fail, not because they are unable to get the gadgets to work, but because their timing is wrong. So in the early 1980s, I became an ardent student of technology trends, tracking the capacity and the price performance of computing, and discovered that technology was advancing exponentially. This was a radical idea at the time because it turned our intuition to thinking linearly on, our, on its head. It was around 1995 that I began seeing that the exponential growth of technology applied to the Genome Project, which had begun in 1990. 
seven and a half years into working on that project, 1% of the genome had been collected, which caused early critics to say it was going to take 700 years to finish. My response was that the project was right on schedule and that 1% is only seven doublings away from 100%. And indeed, the project continued to double each year and was done seven years later. The same rate of exponential progress has continued since the genome project has ended. Decoding that the, the first genome cost more than uh, decoding that first genome cost more than two point seven billion dollars. Today, that same cost is less than six hundred dollars. And every other aspect of what we call biotechnology understanding the genome, modeling it, simulating it, and most important, reprogramming it, is progressing exponentially. We now have the ability to, pre to, to prevent, treat, and soon cure disease with biotechnology, guided by artificial intelligence. We are beginning to reprogram our biology in the same way that we reprogram our computers. Take, for example, the turbocharged flu, flu vaccine created by researchers at Flinders University in Australia. They used a biology simulator to create trillions of chemical compounds and then used another simulator to see which compounds would be useful as immune, boost, uh, immune boosting drugs against the disease. They now have an optimal flu vaccine that's being tested on humans. The trickle of current biotechnological uh, technology applications will become flooded by the end of the year 2020s, by the end of the 2020s. In the past three years, we've reached a tipping point in the computational power for artificial intelligence to quick, quickly simulate, test, and solve biochemical problems. The amount of computation devoted to training the best computer models since 2012 has doubled every three and a half months. That's 300,000, that's a 300,000 fold increase in the last nine years. This has opened the door for AI to find medical solutions in a fraction of the time that it takes humans. Eventually our trust in these AI driven simulations will grow and we will accept their results as sufficient without spending months on human trials. Soon we will be able to simulate trillions of possible solutions to every health problem and fully test them in an hour or, or in hours or days. This will bring us to the 2030s when medical nanobots, blood cell sized computers, will go into our bodies to co combat diseases. From within our nervous system and travel into our brains through the capillaries where they will provide wireless communication between our neocortex and the cloud. Ideas, innovations will no longer be constrained by the size of our skulls. They will be free to grow exponentially in the, in the cloud, expanding our intelligence a billion fold but I'm getting ahead of myself. My point is that we must do everything that we can today to be as healthy as possible for as long as possible in order to benefit from the fast approaching merger of AI of the latest medical knowledge to help our eliminate or to help eliminate our chance of slow down the aging process. The tools to enhance and extend our lives are already in our hands. We just need the courage and we need to be able to question outdated uh, assumptions that limit our ability to use them. Tony and Peter live by this philosophy and have written this book so that you can too. So that was the preface, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that the preface segment and we'll go to, we're going to start section one in the next video. So, peace.